Maxime Bernier gets a hero's welcome in this room full of People's Party of Canada candidates. More than 300 already named, prepping for the election. As their leader makes his case, his party shouldn't be on the margins. Yes, I'm ready to debate with the... <laughs> A plea repeated again and again, aimed squarely at the commissioner of the group organizing the leaders' debates this fall. David Johnston decided he hasn't seen enough evidence to conclude that the People's Party of Canada has a legitimate chance of electing more than one candidate in the next federal election, leaving Bernier out of the mix for now, a decision the PPC leader calls a mistake. We have 40,000 members all across the country people who believe in our values and the way that we're doing politics. So we must be there. It won't be a real debate if we're not there. And I hope he will change his mind. Hope is what Bernier's counting on, along with his argument that the commission shouldn't be relying on polls as much as political context. As he waits for the final word a month from now, Bernier is setting the stage with shots against his main rival, Conservative leader Andrew Scheer. He is pandering to every interest group in this country, including, and that's a shame, including radical Islamists. While some candidates are thinking of the work to come on the ground. It's always hard when you're uh, part of a new party that nobody knows. So do you call this campaigning? I don't know. I'm I'm explaining to people why uh, Maxime Bernier uh, is really the guy who represents real change. That challenge is reflected in the polls that show party support hovering around 3%. Bernier has a long way to go to raise his profile and get Canadians to remember his party's name. Salima Shivji, CBC News, Gatineau, Quebec.